Biodiesel Crimea Ltd. instituted in Crimea, Ukraine. Establishing for over 12 years, a company has developed a reputation for supplying high-quality products at competitive conditions by staff who understands your requirements and needs. We are glad to introduce you a wide range of our high-quality equipment manufactured with the innovative technologies. Biodiesel Crimea Ltd. is a widely known in Ukraine and worldwide manufacturer of the equipment, namely 4-ton pyrolysis installations to recycle any carbon-containing waste, Exxon Biodiesel plants, wide range of the containers, press extruders to press oil of any oil seeds. The complex of 4-ton pyrolysis installation consists of retort oven, Two removable retorts of stainless steel, refrigeration complex, storage tank, centrifugal separator, pressurization system, tire board cutting machine, as well as maintenance site for the retort oven. Pyrolysis, from Greek pure fire heat and lysis decomposition decay, is a thermal decomposition of organic compounds, for example wood, petroleum, coal and others. In the absence of oxygen, raw material waste is loaded into a vessel of heat-resistant steel, retort. The retort is placed into the oven. Raw material is heated by heat transfer through the retort walls and thermally decomposed. This process is named pyrolysis, forming a mixture of steam and gas and carbon residue. Steam-gas mixture goes out from the retort through the pipeline. Cooled, then comes to the storage tank and further to the condensers to separate the gases from the splashes of the liquid. The liquid is collected in a storage tank. Gas, partially of wool is used to support the pyrolysis process, is burned or used to heat greenhouses, offices, and so on. At the end of the pyrolysis process, the retort with semi cork is unloaded from the oven and the other retort with raw material is placed into it. Any carbon-containing waste can be recycled in photon plants, for example, used tires, waste of rubber technical products, household garbage, medical, plastic and wood waste, straw, oil refining waste, construction waste. It is possible to recycle plastic bottles, polyethylene bags, glasses, tubes, plastic films, foam plastic and foam rubber, lignin, products made of latex, prepared roofing paper, Stationery. The complete list of products to recycle in four town pyrolysis plants is represented by the slide. Do not recycle any chlorine containing materials, for example, made on the basis of PVC, polyvinyl chloride, namely window frames, linoleums, conductors, insulation, waterproof raincoats, records, and many others. Depending on the type of raw material used, the fluctuations in the volumes of products received are possible. Processing the used tires, you will receive the following products at the end. 41% of pyrolysis oil, from 10 to 12% of pyrolysis gases, 8% of metal curd, and about 40% of carbon. Processing the plastic waste, you will receive the following products at the end. From 60 to 80 percent of pyrolysis oil, 10 percent of pyrolysis gases, and from 10 to 30 percent of carbon. Processing the roofing materials, you will receive the following products at the end: 65 percent of pyrolysis oil, 10 12 percent of pyrolysis gases, and about 23 to 25 percent of carbon. As a result of intensive oil extraction. Oil refinery, industrial activity of mankind, annually millions of tons of oil slime appear, which is permanently generating and is one of the principal sources of ecological problems. In spite of the achievements of technical progress, the existing technologies of utilization and process in such ways, economically, are not profitable and mostly dangerous. The other environmentally friendly way of oil slime processing is pyrolysis. It is the opportunity to solve a global problem connected with the storage of oil slime and also to gather valuable products. The pyrolysis oil output is about 65 to 70% of the dry weight of a raw material.
Pyrolysis plants for tan are competitive on the market because they have undeniable advantages in comparison with the similar equipment of other manufacturers. Firstly, any carbon-containing waste can be processed by Fortan plant. Then, removable returns and indirect heating of the raw material allow to avoid labor-intensive, slow and dangerous manual operating. That fact that pyrolysis of waste by means of indirect heating is environmentally friendly processing as well as easy maintainable equipment able to work at any weather conditions 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, are the advantages too. Due to all above mentioned, Fortan pyrolysis plants have long service life, possibility of continuous operation and high productivity. Fortan 2 has the following technical characteristics described in the slide. This plant can process to 3,000 kg of waste a day. The most effectively is to operate two and more pyrolysis ovens together with using of the abundant gas of the first oven to heat the second one. At each period of time the ovens are at different stages of the process. The shift of the process phase between two ovens is chosen in such a way so as the second oven passes the stage of maximum gassing at the time when the first oven has the greatest need in fuel. Thus, there is no need for additional solid fuel. The emissions into the atmosphere are significantly reduced and thus there is no need in the gas holder for temporary storage of the pyrolysis gas. For ton for plant, can process to 6,000 kg of waste a day. Photon 40 has the following technical characteristics described in the slide. This plant can process to 60,000 kg of waste a day. Exxon biodiesel plants include the equipment of continuous action to produce biodiesel from vegetable oils or animal fats in the amount from 24,000 to 150,000 liters a day. Various oil feedstock, for example, of sunflower seed, rape, soybean, palm, cotton, flax, as well as used oil, can be suitable for biodiesel production. Exxon biodiesel plants consist of the following blocks. Number 1. Block of metoxide for the automatic preparation and dosing of metoxide. Number 2. Block of oil for the automatic oil dosing. Number 3. Recuperative heat exchanger for the heat recuperation of the cooling biodiesel to heat the incoming oil. Number 4. Block of gravitational separation for separation of the biodiesel from glycerin. Number 5. Reactor of biodiesel synthesis. Number 6. Block of condensers for condensing of metoxid systems. Number 7. Recuperation complex to recuperate methanol of glycerin. Number 8. Recuperation complex to recuperate methanol of biodiesel. Number 9. Complex of filters to filter the biodiesel produced. Number 10. Pumps. Exxon 1000 has the following technical characteristics described in the slide. This plant can produce to 24,000 liters of biodiesel a day. Exxon 6250 has the following technical characteristics described in the slide. This plant can produce to 150,000 liters of biodiesel a day. Biodiesel Crimea LTD manufactures a wide range of containers to meet our customers' need. The application of the seamless spherical bottom in the containers manufactured by Biodiesel Crimea LTD increases the structural strength by reducing the number of wells and provides a better distribution of load onto the spherical surface of the bottom. The maximum thickness of carbon steel is 40 mm. The maximum diameter of the bottom is 6,000 mm. We are definitely here yesterday, here today and here tomorrow company and we look forward to serving you for many years to come. We are pleased to offer you our partnership programs. You can become a regular customer, a technical consultant or sign the dealership agreement and have the exclusive dealership within the discussed area.
They are forming a dealership network worldwide. To join the team of our dealers, just send us your inquiry. We invite you to the profitable cooperation. You may be sure that whichever of the opportunities to deal with us you'll decide to accept, you would receive personal attention and the best possible advice. Let us be your supplier of choice for high-quality equipment, innovative technologies and technical support for environmentally friendly production. Thank you for the interest in Biodiesel Crime Ltd. and our goods. We hope you'll find our equipment satisfactory and we may have a pleasure or further orders from you.